Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to make a, a pull and a push block which will be a block that you can drag it and move it forward or backward so let's get started, I got here my basic scene as always I've already made a sprite for it, it's this box over here as you can see, it's a simple box and we're going to make this uh, a reduced by 2D and we're going to add a collider to it, a box collider Okay, if you want you can freeze the rotation, I'm going to freeze it for now, later I'll change it. Now we're going to make a script on the player that pushes or pulls the block. So, let's, let me create here a script, player push, push, which will be used for push and pull. So the first thing that we need is to detect that the player is near to the box, so we need to cast a ray. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do physics 2D dot raycast, and this raycast will have the, its origin on the player. So transform dot position, and the direction will be vector to dot right times this uh, transform dot local scale dot x so this ray will turn to the left or to the right according to the player and of course uh, we don't uh, want the ray to go forever so we will be adding to it also a distance and also a layer mask and this is to prevent stuff like the, the ray cast colliding with the player so what we're going to do is first add two variables here public float distance let's make it by default one float whatever and let's also put here public layer mask uh, box mask or whatever you want and then we put here the distance and we also put here the box mask uh, instead of putting here this this layer over here one thing that you could also do to prevent it from the recast to collide to the player was by doing physics 2D dot queries starting colliders and set it to false. This will also fix it. Uh, I'm going to leave them both because because in some cases, for instance, my player has two colliders, and if the ray goes from here outside, it will hit another collider. And this, in this case, leaving them both this. And this will fix that. Okay, and this returns a raycast hit 2D. So we're going to put, put that here. Raycast hit 2D. Hit. And the hit equals that. And just to visualize the, the ray on the scene, I'm going to put here void on draw gizmos. And I want to show a line with the color yellow. So color equals color dot yellow, and here let's put gizmos dot draw line and the line will will go from transform dot position and it will go to transform dot position plus this times that. So I'm just going to copy the, all this. And replace this with a plus and this with a times. There you go. And now we will see the ray, but something's happening. Okay, it's because this is not this is not a vector two, so let's force it to be a vector two by doing this. There you go. And now it will work. And now if I play the scene, you'll see that this ray is over here. This yellow ray, and I can change it its size and if I rotate the player, if I move the player to the other side, the ray moves with it as you can see it's fine, now we want now of course nothing is happening because we're not making the player detect it, so here what we want to do is to check if hit dot collider not null so if it hits something and if we are pressing a key, so if we are pressing for instance input 
dot get key key code e then we want to make the box be something so we can first create here a game object box and then we we'll set the box to be equal to the hit dot collider dot game object like so and now we will be performing actions on the box okay so now the, the way that we're going to do to move the box with the player so the the result will be that if we clicked e and move the box the box will go with us uh, right after us and to simulate that i'm going to add to the box a joint a fix, fixed joint to the and make it by default false so that the box is can move if i move would make it true that the box would be would stay fixed so i put this on false and now here i access that so i do i go to box equals box dot get component fixed joint to d dot enabled equals to true so we enable it and that's not all we also need to attach the box to the player so we do that we do get component fix join 2d dot connected body to be equal to the player so to the transform to this dot get component rigid body to the just like so and now let's see if this is working so we go on to unity in the player make sure that here the box mask isn't this is something else we can set the mask to be everything except for the player and now it will collide with the box so if I hit play you will see that if I click I am pressing E right now and I drag you can see that the box comes with us without no errors whatsoever of course the box of course the box right now I, I stopped pressing E and the box still is here but that's a minor issue that we fixed right now also I can also drag other stuff like this which as you can see here shows errors so we'll be fixing, fixing that by adding a tag to the box let's call it pushable and that's pushable and then here also check if the hit dot collider dot game object dot tag equals pushable done so next thing is is we want the player to drop the box so else if input dot get key up key code e then box dot get component fix join to d dot enabled and set that component to false so hopefully this will be working fine and this component will be turned on and off as we want so if i approach the box press e i'm moving it now i release the e key and the box stops coming with us and of course from the other side it works as well now one little thing that happens by the way is that you can for instance uh, drag the the box at a distance and if you don't want that you all you have to do is to go to the player and change the distance to something smaller as you can see and now i can only drag the box at this distance okay one other thing is that as you can see if i just do this the box sometimes goes away and that's to fix that all you have to do is apply a, a physics to the material to the box which is what we're going to do right now so i'm going to create here a new physics to the material box and as you can see right now this is at 0.4 I, uh, 
you you want to keep it low because if you put for instance a hundred let me show you what happens if I drag this into the box I'm pressing E at the box that doesn't move I just can't move the box because of of the friction except if I jump because you can still jump with the box <laughs> so uh, just change the friction to something that's not zero but it's not very big as well so we'll change it to free and we'll see that the box no longer uh, slides and no longer moves like like hell and as you can see this box um, moves as you want and you can for instance drop it and whatnot but uh, some of you might want the box to be static and what do I mean for that I mean by that I mean if you go into the box the box doesn't move so we're going to make a quick script that allows that to happen and that script will be on the box so on the box let's add a component box pool and this will be our script it, let's open it on mono develop and in this script we're going to add two variables a public bool being pushed and a float x position on the start we want the x position to be equal to transform that position dot x and then on the update what we want to do is if being pushed equals false then the transform that position in this case we want the box x to be the same and the y to to vary so we want this to be equal to new vector free position dot x and this is so that whenever we go onto the box the box doesn't move the box doesn't slide but the y will be the same will be also still transform that position dot y so the y will be the same because we want the box to fall if she's if the box has nothing below it okay else we want the position the x position to be equal to transform dot position dot x which is, which means when the box is not being pushed then this happens now we need on the player push script to set okay when do we want the box to be pushed or not in this case whenever this happens so whenever we are pushing the box we're going to do box dot get component box pull and you want to set being pushed to be equal to true this is not very optimized because this should only happen once but in this case it's, it will be happening every single frame but it's not that big of a deal but of course if you want to change this you can change it to get key down and it will also work anyways whenever you release you want to set the box being pushed to false save and now let's see how is this going as you can see now we have this box pool in the box with our being pushed variable and right now it's at false so which means if I go onto the box the box doesn't move so now if I press E we are moving the box just as we want it and of course I cannot I still drop the box if I want and this is in this script remember is just so that we so that the box doesn't slide when we flash into it and now we basically have, have finished of course if you want the box to to have to not freeze the rotation you can uncheck this but I don't recommend to do this while the box pool is active because as you can see right now the box kind of flickers and does this weird stuff so only do this when this script is not active so this way okay the box flickers and whatnot but it's more natural and that's it in this tutorial I'll not be, I will not be covering animations because right now my animator is already uh, a little bit complex and I don't even have and I don't even have that much uh, animation so to not complicating stuff up I won't be doing that so that was it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and see you in the next one